how vibe coding is hurting your critical thinking by Asim Sharp. And there's two points I liked in this article. It's not a super long article. Obviously, the headline says it all, right? The more you vibe code and let AI do the critical thinking for you, you kind of lose that muscle, that skill. And the two points I want to bring up are talks about domain expertise, right? After nearly 20 years as a software developer, I've come to realize something important. Domain knowledge often matters more than technical skill. I like this. You can always find someone who can animate a screen, wire up a form, build a splash screen. But developers who understand the business deeply, including the edge cases, the workflows, the reasons why behind things are the way they are, that's rare. If you've worked at a company, you've all worked with that developer. <laughs> the one that's been there 10 years, five years since the beginning, whatever it is for that company, and they just have all the domain knowledge. So any question you have, you go to that developer and it seems like they know everything because they've been around for a while. That is what's rare, right? AI can't replicate that. However, AI can wire up a form, animate a screen, all that stuff. So if you do let AI offload your critical thinking when building your app, you're losing that domain knowledge. And I think that's really important because this would go one of two ways. Either AI is going to just build everything for us and software developers aren't going to exist. Well, in that case, yeah, your domain knowledge didn't, doesn't matter. Or if it doesn't happen where we still need that domain knowledge, well, then now the people with domain knowledge are going to be super valuable, super rare, super important. So you might as well get the domain knowledge because either we're not going to exist as a profession or you're going to be very important with that domain knowledge. And then I've actually personally felt this one, this growth requires engagement. It's like, there's nothing wrong with using tools like ChatGPT. They're great for boosting productivity, learning new techniques, solving problems. But when they replace your thinking, curiosity, and willingness to dig deep, you stop growing. And I felt this because there's plenty of mundane problems in my apps that I've been building recently that I'm like, Ugh. I don't even want to think about that. And I just have like AI do it. Now I'm not talking about the exciting, interesting problems. I still do those. I'm just talking about like the boring mundane ones that it's just like, Ugh, whatever, just have AI do it. And I can feel my skills diminishing a little bit. Now, luckily for me, I've been doing this for 10 years, the, the old way, right? Where we didn't have AI. So a lot of my skills are in place. Don't get me wrong. It still affects me. I still feel them deteriorating. The reason I'm bringing that up is I can't imagine how impactful this is for someone who has one year experience, two, three, four years experience. Like I try to put myself back earlier in my career. If I had AI and was offloading my critical thinking and solving hard problems, I would still be stuck in that two, three year developer, right? It'd be a permanent junior developer. So I guess I bring this up that if you are in that early stages of your career, be very careful with this. 